Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. Divine Feminine, if you're feeling unsure, this is what you need to know. Walking away in the reverse position. What is this Divine Feminine feeling like she is walking away from? I actually heard walking in circles. So this Divine Feminine may feel as though she is consistently trying to walk away from a person, from a situation from something but she finds herself seeming to come back full circle over and over again now do keep in mind in these readings i do channel different groups of people in different videos so only take this reading if it resonates with you personally and if you would like me to channel specifically for you and your situation be sure to like this video and double check that you are subscribed to this channel because by subscribing, this allows me to more easily pick up on your energy and channel more specific messages for you. Door to value in the upright position. I'm hearing a message of seeing your own worth, divine feminine, your own value blossoming abundance, planting seeds for the future that you desire. What else does this Divine Feminine need to know? I'm going to pull several cards here and then tie everything together. The fourth chakra, the heart chakra. Both this card and the walking away reverse card were sitting on the heart center. This tells me that whatever this Divine Feminine feels like she's walking away and coming back to, I do feel like this is a romantic connection. I'm hearing the reason you can't walk away or every time you try to walk away from this person or this connection, you find yourself coming back full circle is because something about this person or this connection is helping you to expand and to come into a greater balance and harmony within yourself with angel of balance in the upright position. I'm almost getting this energy of your ego wants to believe here that it's about this other person, that it's about this connection itself. And you might find yourself wondering, what is it about this person that keeps me coming back over and over again? But your guides are coming in here and trying to see or trying to get you to see on a higher self level that something about this connection, which I wanted to say soul connection, I'm getting a G name by the way for someone, but something about this soul connection because I do feel this is a twin flame or soulmates of some kind. This is about expanding your hearts and balancing yourself out. I'm hearing unfinished business, like our work isn't finished yet. It's almost this energy of when you have unfinished business with another soul, you're always going to feel yourself coming back to them because what you're really drawn to isn't necessarily the person themselves, the physical appearance of the person or their personality traits. It is something about your shared soul essence and mutual agreements that your souls share between you on this higher self level that keep you coming back to one another. I heard this is what we promised. This is what we promised on a soul level. So I went to see if I can get more information about this person by the way the word design came out and for some reason i saw something about someone working in designing things or i also heard interior design for someone okay so tell me more about this 
connection what is going on here the temple path in the upright position your intuition knows that this connection is intertwined somehow with your overarching soul purpose and life path here on earth which is why in this journey of aligning with yourself you find yourself connecting with this particular person over and over again victory in the upright position this is one of the most positive cards you can get in the entire deck because it really speaks to for some reason i'm seeing a wreath of some kind or someone wearing something on their head but i'm hearing that something about this connection i'm hearing a hidden victory And all of this is really sitting on the crown chakra telling me your intuition, your soul knows something here beyond what your minds can understand. So I feel like for this person, it is their mind questioning this connection, questioning why do I keep coming back to this person or situation and with anxiety in the upright position, creating this feeling of fear, insecurity, doubts, or worry. And I see these anxieties really affecting the roots and the sacral chakra centers specifically, that feeling of security and also of trust there's kind of this shaky energy that this person feels whenever these doubts spring up from the mind. But again, the soul here is saying something very different. Now, if you have been feeling any physical sensations through your root chakra or through your sacral, so this would be in the very, very lower stomach area or the abdomen, know that if you've had these physical symptoms explored already by a medical professional and you haven't been able to find a cause, sometimes these things can have energetic causes. Now, root chakra and sacral chakra imbalances may also manifest simply as I'm hearing like a pervasive feeling of anxiety waiting for the other shoe to drop or I'm hearing relationship anxiety. So someone in general may struggle to feel really secure, really confident, really safe within their relationships. This also can be a sign of a root or, root or sacral chakra, kind of mixed up my words there, imbalance. So if you are noticing these kinds of signs, I have created a rebalancing root chakra and sacral chakra activation. These are separate meditations, but if you sign up for a free trial account on my website, soundandsoulful.com, you can access and try out both of these meditations for free. You can also combine them into custom playlists along with any other subliminals that may resonate with you. And subliminals are a really powerful way to do this kind of energy healing work on ourselves because our energy is really directly connected to our subconscious mind. It's actually the subconscious mind that does control 95% at least of our thoughts. And of course, we know that by the law of attraction, what we think is what we attract back to us and also energetically what we exist exude outward into the world so these sacral and root chakra rebalancing activating subliminals will really help you to deeply clear out any blockages or imbalances in these areas so you can really come into deeper levels of security trust and knowingness whatever that looks like for you so again, the link to those subliminals is in the pinned comment and description box under this video. Now, right away, the yin yang card in the midway position, this is the number one twin flame card in this deck. And I just heard this message of things are coming back into balance here, even if at times you believe that they are, I'm hearing spiraling out or falling apart. That is just what the ego would have you to believe. And really it's getting those fears. It's perpetuating those fears from some kind of inner imbalance or insecurity that I feel this person 
is illuminating. Now, of course, with this twin flame card coming out, only you will know for sure whether you are dealing with a twin flame connection. So always listen to your intuition on this. But this card is a very, very strong indication of a twin flame soul bonds. I'm picking up on two people here that from their human perspective or from their ego perspective may at times appear to one another to be very different. So at times you listening may be confused whether this person is or is not a twin flame because you look at them and see that in many ways you and this person may be very different on the surface. But what I'm getting from your guides is your souls are the same. Your core essence is the same. And the reason that you look so different on the surface is because First of all, you chose to take on these physical, superficial differences in order to bridge these divides because in bridging these divides between us as twins, we are also effectively bridging divides that disconnect humans, groups of humans from one another. Essentially, we are reconnecting collective consciousness on the earth plane, but also you may have chosen these differences to help you, to assist you in overcoming your own perception of separateness from others at the physical level and realizing the sameness between us all by sharing a same core soul frequency with another soul who on the surface at this superficial level may appear to be very different in some ways. Happy family in the reverse position. So I feel I'm speaking to twin flames here most likely, although again, this isn't necessarily a twin flame connection. Take it as it connects. But I feel that I'm speaking to two souls that are in some period of separation and for at least one of them there is this fear that reunion is either impossible i'm hearing out of the question out of sight for them so what do these twin flames in separation need to know and of course, right as I asked what you need to know, the sun card, the new beginning card came out in the upright position. So very obviously this card pretends some kind of a new beginning. I'm hearing a new phase of this connection coming in, one that might look very different from how this connection between you and this person may have looked before, but one that will, I'm hearing like refresh, reset something that needed to be reset and in fact i'm hearing that i heard the great resetting of your connection the separation if there was some kind of or is some kind of physical separation between you and this person or even a disconnect in communication because separation doesn't always necessarily mean a physical separation geographically but regardless, this was actually for the purpose of recalibrating something between you, of resetting you, giving you a chance to refresh. It's like I see someone shutting off a computer and turning it back on. And I feel that someone here is so focused on the fact that your computer got turned off. I know this is a very loose metaphor, but in this connection, it feels like things really got shut down. Someone may even feel shut out or has felt shut out at times from the other's life but spirit is here telling you this wasn't a shutdown of your connection this was a resetting and with angel of balance in kind of the midway position there was a lot that needed to be balanced out between the two of you and may still be coming into balance i'm hearing that at the soul level you are always connected and you are the same but i get this feeling that circumstances of your life may have wounded you energetically or programmed you in certain ways that caused this reset to need to be necessary in order for you to come back into alignment with your highest state of being and ultimately with this reunion with one another yeah with seventh chakra in the reverse position 
I feel that someone got a little bit disconnected from their divine path at some points along the way here, and that may be another reason this reset, so to speak, had to take place because this person I'm hearing had to be broken open to the ultimate realization, recognition of this connection through circumstances that at times may have been painful or may have looked like a separation. But ultimately, all of this is working together. And of course, before I say that, goddess of the moon upright, another purpose potentially of this period of disconnect and separation was actually to reconnect a divine feminine with her true power. I'm seeing something about the number 52 here. And also either white hair or like very, very platinum blonde hair for someone here, but that won't be for everyone. What I'm really getting with this card is, I also heard a J name here as well. I'm getting with this card that this separation, I feel for the masculine here with seventh chakra reversed. It was the masculine who needed this restart, this refresh. I just saw the number 1616, by the way. I keep getting interrupted by signs and synchronicities, but this also tells me there's a lot of divine energy swirling around your connection. So you yourself might be seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities, which may be part of what keeps you feeling tied to this person, keeps you coming back. But anyway, I feel it's this masculine who may have been in need of this restart, this refresh to break him open to this knowing of the divine truth of this bonds. I'm hearing to see the divine feminine clearly for the first time. Whereas for the divine feminine, this may have been necessary to reconnect her. I'm hearing to plug her back in fully to her own power, to seeing her own inner worth, inner power and potential, which I feel that in this case, she is now profoundly rising into. And these two dynamics are working together as well. I just saw 1717, the angel number signs will not let up in this reading for you. But I feel these two dynamics working hand in hand because the more divine feminine that you really plug into and activate that knowing of your true power and potential, the more that the divine masculine continues to push through this intense and I'm hearing at times even uncomfortable or painful, unfamiliar awakening that is actually breaking him open to a full remembrance and recognition of your connection. And of course, the opposite is true as well. As this masculine continues this awakening journey, the feminine is feeling pushed into her own power increasingly as well. I have to say that from that and from the twin flame card coming out earlier, I am getting a lot of powerful twin flame energy from this reading. Now, because we are speaking a lot about the divine feminine here, stepping back into her power, really embodying that highest version of herself, I will also be leaving a link to the awakened divine feminine subliminal meditation, along with the root chakra and sacral chakra activations I mentioned earlier. This divine feminine awakening subliminal is really intended divine feminine to fully reconnect you back with your inner power which has always existed within you but that we so often become programmed away from or we give that power away so in whatever way feels right or good to you, continue this beautiful rise into your power, divine feminine, into really allowing yourself to be and to become effortlessly magnetic for your desires to create, to infuse passion and self-love into your life wherever possible. And if you do feel guided to this awakened divine feminine subliminal to be part of those self-love, self-care routines, Routines and rituals, then the link to that is in the pinned comments and description box. So I just want to see if I can get one final message for anyone listening to this reading. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So someone here may have Aquarius energy in their charts, but otherwise I feel this message from your guides to continue stepping into your power, whether you are the masculine or the feminine here, 
to continue being fiercely authentic in your life to also there's something here about trusting the divine timing trusting the universe not needing to get into kind of the trenches of things and control but to relinquish some of that control to surrender it to the total remembrance of your inner power and the divine orchestration of your life. So I do hope this reading reached someone who needed to hear it. If it did connect with you, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what resonated with you personally. The link to the three subliminals we mentioned in this reading, which are the root chakra activation, the sacral chakra activation, and the awakened divine feminine. All of those are linked in the pinned comment and description box under this video. All of these subliminals come from my website, soundandsoulful.com. So right now on the screen, I am just showing you around my websites a little bit to show you how you can navigate through the different categories and explore these subliminals I have created. I do have more than 100 subliminals on this website available to members. And when you create a seven day free trial account, you can access any of them that you might desire or feel drawn to incorporate into your daily rituals and routines. So again, all of that information is under this video. I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day, and I will talk to you again in the next reading.